So today I'm at the Mall of America. It's actually pretty windy. Uh, I'm going to Nickelodeon Universe, hopefully. Uh, it's my first indoor park. I'm excited. And I'm excited to go on SpongeBob and stuff. And after this park, I will have 199 credits if I get all the credits here. So uh, hopefully I can get my 200 credits somewhere else. But uh, yeah, Mall of America. So let's go. Now, you would think Mall of America is somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Minneapolis, somewhere randomly, but no. The airport is literally just right there. There's the Delta hangar right there. So if you're at the airport, you just have to cross the interstate, that interstate right there, and you're at the Mall of America. It's really, really weird. I did not think it was that close. And right there is uh, Great Oak Lodge. Interesting. As I said, very close to the airport. Why are you not focusing? Very close to the airport. That airplane, Mall of America. That's a cool entrance. First ride, I guess, uh, SpongeBob, yay. So, I just got off of uh, Spongebob, Squarepants, Rock Bottom Plunge. It's a little bit short. It's surprisingly smooth for a Gerslauer, which is actually a really good thing. It's probably about the mall setting because it doesn't get rained on and temperature differences, but yeah, it's a pretty good ride. It's not that intense, a little bit intense, that loop, and the airtime on the drop is really good. And then, I went on Ghost Blasters. Every target works, which is actually a really good thing. I like that because sometimes the dark rides, every target doesn't work and something reacts here when you hit the target. It's still not as good as Ghost Blasters at Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, but actually a really solid dark ride. Also, when you get the tickets for this park, they have like kiosks all around. Uh, they give you just like a piece of paper that's very long and very weird. And every time Thrills mentioned that you have to go to the ride operator and then they'll put it on for you. So basically, I went to the ride operator, they got, took like a sticker and then they just put it on this thing and then just hooked it on my wrist. It's very interesting how it works. Kind of wastes time with the dispatches and stuff, people trying to put their wristbands on their operators. It's really, really interesting, but cool. Now it's time for TMNT Shell Shock. So, let's go. Okay, so I got uh, one flip in. It goes very slow, and the ride cycle's not that long, but I got one flip in, it was pretty pretty cool. But the rest of the flips, I mean, I wasn't just rocking back and forth, I was actually getting like stalls, which was very, very fun. It felt reminiscent of Catlin's Whip, but Catlin's Whip is 
still 100 times better. Now it's time to get another coaster credit, Avatar Airbender. Now people think this is a half pipe, it's a surf rider, don't get that wrong. Uh, I'm excited to see it, how it compares to half pipe at Elish Gardens, very exciting. Wow, it's very loud in here. So let's go on Avatar Airbender. <laughs> I just got off of the Avatar Airbender and man, it's so much, so much better than Half Pipe at Elitch Gardens. Well, this is not a Half Pipe, it's a Surf Rider, but wow, it's still so much better. The cars spin so much better. I don't know if like there's some way it makes it spin more, but Half Pipe, like you are lucky to spin at all. But here you're like really spinning. It's so, so much better. Yeah, amazing ride. Also, another interesting thing with the when with the wristbands, when they scan your wristband, it uh, does the SpongeBob laugh every single time. It's very funny. Hello, welcome to the SpongeBob Rock Bottom Plunge. Let me scan your wristband. I just got off of Splatosphere. Uh, I never rode a drop tower like this, so I was like, oh, why not? I want to ride it. And it's, I always wanted to ride a Moser ride, Frog Hopper, and this is basically a bigger version of that. So yeah, very fun. Like stomach dropping feeling all over, awesome ride. As someone that enjoys airplanes, it's really cool that this place is like next to the airport because I just looked out of the skylight just while I was on Splatosphere and I just seen an airplane just going over like that. It was, it was, it was awesome. I didn't know what M&M's smelled like until now. Yeah, it smells like M&M's. This place is so cool because the, the support from the pencil just goes right into the cash register. That's, that's interesting. Well, I guess it's time to ride the pendulum. So I just got off the pendulum. Uh, I was expecting it to be like uh, the one at Delirious at California's Great America, but it was better than that. Chance definitely improved the way they make pendulums, but they still aren't as good as KMG. And it was really weird because it sped up in the middle of the ride. It's really weird. It's gonna be a, a video where I say weird a lot, like uh, at Michigan's Adventure. Hopefully not. But if, I, if you notice I say weird a lot, I guess I'm in a weird mood. Anyway, now it's time for a very weird ride. See, there I did it again. On Log Shoot! Uh, an indoor log flume. And apparently it's one of the best log flumes. So, let's go ride it. Shoot has a little bit too much of a line than all the other rides in this park. So we're gonna come back later and ride it, even though it looks like a really cool log flume. Fairly odd coaster, so let's go.
I just got off of the fairly odd coaster and it's it's a clone of spinning dragons at Worlds of Fun, but I don't understand the layout, how it works, because it's also kind of a clone of Pandemonium at Six Lake St. Louis. The first turn is exactly the same, right? But then it's mirrored the rest of the way, and I don't get how it, the layout works comparison to that one, so it's a really weird for me to understand that. But yeah, it's a very fun one. But for some reason, this version of the ride is a little bit rougher than Pandemonium, unless Pandemonium's just the, the odd ball out and it's really smooth, because spinning dragons on this are very rough. I mean, not very rough. They have a slight rattle, okay? And really, do they really have to put the Lego store right next to my other favorite thing? These are doing two favorite things next to each other. Come on, please. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to lose money, please. I'm getting attracted, oh no. I'm so tempted right now. Ugh. I need that train, I need that train. Uh, somewhere there should be like a roller coaster somewhere. I'm so tempted. Okay, we have the Hogwarts thing and then there's a roller coaster underneath. It's so cool. I gotta get back into the theme park. I'm gonna spend money and I don't wanna spend money because this theme park's already expensive. So let's go back into the theme park. Get me away from the Legos. <laughs> ride Pepsi Orange Streak. Pepsi, please stop sponsoring it. I don't want to say Pepsi every time I say Orange Streak. So, yeah, please, Pepsi, stop sponsoring it. Slime Streak? Well, Pepsi Orange Slime Streak. Uh, think of Jaguar, but quiet and smooth, and of a bunch of crazy head choppers. Because this thing basically goes from one side of the mall to the other. It's amazing. It takes up these, uh, this entire place. It's really, really smooth. It goes through the log flume building. Well, mountain thing. And there's some theming. There's, it's really, really, really cool. It's definitely better than Jaguar. Now it's time to go on Brain Surge. So uh, let's go ride it. I like the brain in the middle, so let's see how it is. The line actually took forever. The operations on this is so slow, so slow. Anyway, but the ride itself, wow, that's it actually got me a little dizzy. It's it's really fun. I like the backflip better. I don't know which flips I like better. They're amazing. And then you can also hang upside down and get an airtime hill. It's very fun. It's very interesting. But now, uh, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> they also have a Wonder Pit uh, frog hopper, which is very cool. I just got off of SpongeBob one more time. Uh, I grayed out on this loop for some reason. Uh, the rest of the ride is not the greatest, but that zero G roll? No, some some sort of roll. Gives pretty good hang time. It's a good ride. So I just got off of log shoot. The operations were horrible. I mean, for a 10 minute wait, usually on a regular log flip, it took uh, like an hour and a half. That, that was horrible operations. They're only loading like half of the cars. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, it's a it's very very good themed. The drops are very very good. The airtime is really good. Um, also, on the first lift hill, which is inside those buildings, it still says Knott's Berry Farm, which is interesting. So yeah, good ride, but the operations are wow, horrible. That's the worst operations on a log flume or roller coaster or ride that I've ever seen. Mall of America. Whoever owns this place, fix that, please. Apparently, they're filling every single ride in this park half full. Why? Mall of America, what are you doing? It's getting busier by the time it goes on, and you're only filling half of the people. I mean, there's a big line for this ride, and these, all these seats are empty. I don't understand. If, if I go to another ride and they're filling it halfway, I'm going to be very mad. The line right there, and they're only filling six people. I mean, 
and the ride cycle takes a while and loading takes a while. Why are you filling it halfway? I don't understand. Please tell me. I'm going on the bumper cars because every other ride in this park is filling their uh, ride halfway. I mean, look, nobody here. There's some people there, but like half of it is empty and there's a giant queue line on every single ride. I don't understand. Please, Mall of America, what are you doing? i never seen this operation happening anywhere. Look, halfway full on the orange streak. Everything's halfway full. It's annoying me. At least the bumper cars aren't. But that would be really boring if it was halfway full. So, I don't know why this is happening. Bumper cars. The court is really small. You can't maneuver that well, but yeah, cool. I'm loading the half pipe. Half empty. It's really interesting. Going on Avatar again. Good ride. Much better than Half Pipe at Elitch Gardens. Uh, very smooth. Awesome ride. But I asked an operator why they're only filling every ride half full. And the operator said, due to inclement weather. Um, does it look like there's inclement weather? I see the, out of the window there's inclement weather, but. Uh, where I'm walking, I don't, I don't feel wet. Uh, I don't see rain. I don't feel any wind. So uh, that's not an excuse. You're inside Mall of America. You cannot have the excuse of inclement weather like other ex theme parks. And also, why would loading a car halfway full change the way that the coaster rides about inclement weather. Uh, uh, somebody, please explain. I'm giving this place a bad review. Spongebob? They're one, running one train all day, right? Okay. The, it's not that busy here, one train. I mean, that's like a 15 minute wait. Now they're running one train and loading it halfway. And the, the train only holds eight people, so now it's four people with one train. I don't know why, that, that doesn't add up with the amount of people that are here. And then half the rides are closed. Guess there's no better time to get a kitty coaster credit. It's pretty smooth, not that exciting, but it's it's a cute little kitty coaster. And you go like, I don't know, like eight times around this little circle, which actually is a pretty good deal. It's actually a pretty long ride. This one, they weren't filling halfway, which is, oh, well, there's not, not as much line, so. But they weren't filling halfway if they didn't have to, but yeah, good ride. Okay, they started loading the cars full again. Yeah, exciting. Also, the slides look really, really cool. For those of you waiting to buy SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge, you must be at least 48 inches tall to ride. Riders must be in good health. Another ride on Spongebob Rock Bottom Plunge. Very fun roller coaster. And they kind of built it in, like, interestingly. They, I mean, they had to dig in this park a little bit. It's interesting. So yeah, fun ride. Here's the underside of the mechanics. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Pepsi Orange Streak right now. And I just noticed this is kind of custom built for them all, uh, this uh, Spongebob. And I just noticed that they literally made this air tunnel just for those doors, which is very interesting. So yeah, if you enjoy airtime on this ride, 
thank those doors. See Orange Street. Amazing roller coaster. It's so smooth and you get to go look at so many rides while you're on it. And sometimes you even like go as fast as a ride. Like uh, there's like a kiddie ride over there and it was turning at the same speed as we were going around it. It was awesome. Uh, also, this ride likes to go uh, around the support pillars for the roof. And now each support pillar has air conditioning, so you feel the air conditioning when you go around the support pillars, which is interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. I love this ride. It's better than Jaguar. I'm gonna get another crack at this because uh, last time I only got one flip, which we're gonna have to try to change this time, so let's go. Got like three and a half flips. I'm doing better. People say the older Gerstler Skyfly is like this one are harder to flip. This one opened in 2012. I never rode any other one that's not opened in 2012. The other one I rode in Legoland is also opened in 2012. So I want to know how the new ones, and like uh, the one at Lost Island, how they good they flip because people say the older ones don't flip as good. So I want to see if the newer ones are better. Anyway, now I think I'm going to go on Avatar again because Wow, I think, I don't know. Maybe that's my favorite coaster. Or SpongeBob, or Slime Streak. I don't know which one's my favorite coaster. They're all great. Tar Airbender. I love the restraints. I love the beyond verticalness. I love everything about this. Even though half pipe has a little bit more capacity, this is not a half pipe. I love it so much. This is a great ride. Perfect for a mall because it takes up zero space. And they also had to dig a big hole for it for some reason. Also, it has pretty good theming in the queue line. Not that there is a queue line, but if there is, I mean, there's, there's theming. It's cool. Got off of the Shredder Mutant Masher. I think that's the name of it. Ah. Uh, Fun ride! Chance did much better than the ones at Knott's Berry Farm in California's Gay America, that's for sure. Uh, I guess it's a little bit newer than those. But yeah, it's a re and smaller. It's actually a really, really good pendulum. Ah, Zamperla Giga Discoveries are unmatched for pendulums, but yeah, fun ride. Eminem, hi. Those are may not make good uh, big drop tires, but they make darn good little ones. That thing's a powerhouse. I love it. It's amazing ride. Yeah, awesome ride. Third ride right on SpongeBob. Let's go. It broke down. I went on Ghost Blasters again. I got a way better score than last time I did it. It was. It's. It's, it's a good themed dark ride. I mean, it's. It's old fashioned. I like it though. These are the kind of dark rides I like better. I don't really like Justice League or something. The Foo Blasters at Cedar Fair Parks are pretty good though. But yeah, this is a really good dark ride. So I want to go on Fairly Odd Coaster one more time before the park closes. It's getting dark slowly. Uh, but the line was always long. I'm gonna go check on that and maybe go on Brain Surge or something. It, yeah, I, anyway, so this is a great park so far. Just. It was really weird in the middle of the day that they were loading everything half full. It's really, really weird. So let's go to Fairly Odd Coaster or Brain Search. Just got off of Brain Surge. Yeah, those are really, really, really fun rides. Awesome. They're very disorientating, but you can choose how thrilling you want it. You can flip one way the whole ride, you can flip the other way the whole ride, you can switch it up like I did. You can stay upright the whole ride. It's a versatile, amazing ride. I love it. It's awesome. Time for Fairly Odd Coaster, so let's go. So I just 
just got off the fairly odd coaster. It's a pandemonium clone, but not really. I'll show you why in a second. Uh, yeah, awesome coaster. I didn't spend a lot. I mean, actually, I spent a pretty good amount. But it has a little bit of a rattle like spinning dragons, which is interesting. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyway, this is the why it is so uh, just super confusing to me because Pandemonium will take the St. Louis version, for instance. It comes out of the station like at this turn right here. But in, there's drive tires here at St. Louis. Then it goes up here. And then it, instead of going the other way like St. Louis does, it's mirrored. But this part isn't mirrored. So they have to line the track up at the end again. So then you get that really, really weird transition there. It kind of jolts you around a little bit. And then for some reason, the same year, Worlds of Fun decided to build this clone of it. And this, uh, it was you can definitely tell it was meant for the mall here. So I don't know why Worlds of Fun clones this one instead of the regular Pandemonium clones. It's really confusing. I'll give you a uh, comparison to the two layouts so you can find what's different about them. Because it really confuses me what's different about it. It's it's just a fairly odd coaster. SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge, another ride. It didn't break down this time. Uh, the last helix is the smoothest part. Oh my gosh, they're sending another one already? Wow. The helix is the smooth, the last helix there is the, definitely the smoothest part. And also another reason why it might be a little rough is that this loop and lift hill and basically everything, uh, every roller coaster in this park is under supported a little bit. Uh, it's not dangerous, but it's a little bit under supported. As you can see, the loop is shaking and when the car goes, it really shakes. Yeah, shaking. Anyway, so yeah, that's why it may be rough. I don't know. I'm just a dumb enthusiast. Oh my gosh, I'm still zoomed in. Why do I keep doing that? So, fun fact, this park used to be owned by Knott's or Cedar Fair. I don't know which one it was. And it used to be called Camp Snoopy. And you can tell this is definitely from Knott's Camp Snoopy. Uh, they kind of painted it blue. It's kind of not that nice. But a lot of stations in this park are cabin themed, camp themed. It's really interesting. Uh, also, the log flume uh, still says not Berry Farm. Beautiful ride. So, I rode Pepsi Orange Streak again, and I found out something really, really, really weird. Uh, you know how it goes through the log flume, right? The log flume's closed right now, so all the theming and lights are off when you go through the log flume, which is very interesting. Also, I found where they stored a second car because I thought it was weird that they were only running one train and it's very, a very, very long ride. So I'm like, maybe they have a second car, maybe they don't. Well, uh, inside the log flume mountain, there is a storage area for a second car, which is there. So, you know, you would think that there would be a extra car by the station, but it's like on the other side of the mall by the log flume building, which is, wow, really cool. Let's try to get five flips on this now because I'm learning slowly how to do it. Let's go. I flipped the entire ride. That's the best ride I've ever had on the older one. I never rode a newer one though. But yeah, I flipped basically the entire ride. I mean, sometimes I kind of tilted just a little bit wrong and I didn't flip all the way, but pretty much flipping the whole time. That was the best ride I've had on one of those ever. And last ride of the day on Avatar, so let's go. And last ride of the day on Avatar Airbender. It's something else when you're gonna hit the pitch black roof. Yeah, that was fun. Anyway, uh, there was, there was like five people that wanted to get off and every single time uh, the, the operator checked all the restraints and then somebody wanted to get off and then the operator had to check all the restraints again which like five times it was crazy and then there was another operator from Valley Fair 
that I was talking to the operator of Avatar, and he he was like, oh, I feel bad for you. I felt bad for her too. Yeah, so don't if GPs are if you want to get off the ride, do it when the restraint uh, uh, other people are getting off the ride, or just don't. Please, it slows down operation so much. So and now walking to the exit. Yeah, Mall of America, very big mall, very good theme park inside of the mall. Uh, it was really weird what they did in the middle of the day. I really don't understand because you're inside the mall. Luckily, I wasn't at Valley Fair today because apparently it closed at five about the rain. But yeah, uh, Nickelodeon Universe, the first time I ever been there. Actually, it was a pretty good park. I would like to go again, even though it's yeah, a little bit expensive. So yeah, let's get out of here. Anyway, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and coast right. Bye.